every black American male should maybe take a second look at NASCAR. Now I know what you're gonna say, right? Alvin, you're crazy, NASCAR. Hear me out. So guys, welcome to SSTV. I am your host, Alvin Holden, also known as Project 8020. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why every black American male should maybe take a second look at NASCAR. Now, I know what you're gonna say, right? Alvin, you're crazy, NASCAR. Hear me out. Give me 60 seconds, I'll even give myself a clock to make the case, okay? Three reasons, here we go. Clock set, one. Even though Bubba Wallace is the only active black driver, there are a number of black men in the pits, in the back offices, and in the organizations that could use our support. NASCAR as an organization seems to be making an effort to support those men and acknowledge our right to be there. Two, NASCAR is one of the few sports that has not let feminist ideologies into the sport. They prioritize family values, and they have not bent the knee to gynocentric social orders or the woke mob. Women are included and involved, but are not put above family, business, and the actual sport itself. Last but not least, NASCAR as an organization upset a large percentage of its spectators or its fan base by banning the Confederate flag. In order to make room for black people, i.e. Michael Jordan, we can argue whether or not the gesture is genuine, but it doesn't change the fact that they're providing an opportunity to prove that it's more profitable to deal with black men instead of holding on to racist policies and traditions. How'd I do? To make it? Cool. And here's a bonus reason. Here's a number four. NASCAR, for reasonable money, gives spectators unmatched access to drivers, pit crews, and tracks compared to almost every other sport. 